Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how we could add real faders to our tracks in Reaper. By default, Reaper opens up with a mixer down over here. I have mine hidden, but if I show it, it shows up as a floating window, at least for me. But in here with our mixer, we get these real faders. So we can see the levels very clearly and also adjust them very easily. But again, we can do the same thing over here, but by default, we get knobs instead of faders. So we can still adjust them from here, but if you're like me, you might prefer real faders, because it's a bit easier to see the level they're set to, as we can see right in here. So to change this, we'll go to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and type into the filter Theme. And then we'll choose the default 7 Theme, Adjuster. Double click it, and it opens up the default 7 theme adjuster where we can adjust things or how Reaper looks over here. Like for one thing, by default, this option is on, giving us the name of our tracks based on the color of our tracks. But I personally find this a little harder to see, so I turn this option off, making the track names all this bright white color. So that's one of the things we can change. But going back to our faders versus knobs, we can go to the track controls and scroll down to the section over here for the track panel. And right over here adjusts the volume length. We can see over here it's a knob, but if we bring it up slowly, the knob changes to a fader right over here. And we could adjust how big it is by adjusting it in the theme adjuster, make it smaller, and then it finally turns into a knob, make it bigger, and we get a fader, as big as we want. Let's make it about this size, and now we could see a bit more clearly the levels of our tracks. And again, we could adjust them from here. And again, we can more clearly see the levels they are against the other tracks in the project. So if you're like me and you prefer faders in here, just change it in the theme adjuster. Again, by default, we get knobs. We could bring it up to any size we prefer. Now there's one other thing I want to mention. If I reopen the mixer, notice over here in the track control panel, a few controls get hidden. Hide the mixer again, and they come back. It's the routing, the pan, and the polarity or phase button. With the concept, if you open the mixer, we can control those from in here. So they don't show up in the track control panel when the mixer is open. But if you have the mixer on a different screen, or just hide it in the corner, you might still want to control it from the track control panel. And luckily, we can change that behavior. Go back to the theme adjuster, scroll up here, and this section over here deals with if the mixer is visible. Here's the routing, here's the pan, and here is the polarity or phase button. So if you want to see that all the time, even if the mixer is open, just change these so they don't hide. And now, if we reopen the mixer, we still see the same controls in the track control panel hide it, and show it. So again, if you prefer that behavior, just change it over here. Just click these buttons so those controls won't be hidden when we open the mixer. And again, if you want real faders instead of knobs, just adjust that over here. Make it as big or as small as you want. So that's pretty much it. That's how to add real faders in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bingo, boys, let's go.